Welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Now today, this is a special rambling. I will not be talking about what's in my glass, which is a Linkwood, by the way. No, today I will be talking about a book, a new whiskey book, Whiskey for Iedereen. It's not just any book, it's a book that I wrote. Not just me, I wrote it together with two of my dearest friends, Nick Vermees and Ilse Everard, who together with me launched in 2009 our whiskey blog, Wivi.be. Now, Wivi is an acronym for the Dutch Whiskey for iedereen. Basically, it translates into whiskey for everyone. And that's our premise. We do believe that there is a whiskey for everyone. Whenever there is someone who says, whiskey, ooh, I don't drink whiskey, for us it's the same as saying, food, ooh, I don't eat. It's impossible. There is a whiskey for everyone, I'm sure. But apart from that, we also feel that the whiskey industry is sometimes a minefield of terms that might be a bit daunting for people who are not very familiar with whiskey, who nevertheless want to enjoy it, but mm, they stay away. It's a bit difficult. It's a bit, ooh, but that's one of the reasons probably the main reason why we wrote Whiskey for Iedereen, the book. Now, mind you, as the title reveals, this book is not in English. I know that many of our viewers, uh, about 50% of you is either from Holland or Belgium. So for you, this book might in fact be very interesting indeed. If you are English speaking or another language, but not Dutch or Flemish, the book is probably just a nice to have, but not really very interesting because you will not be able to read it. Right. Okay. Now, before I tell you anything else about the book, let me first show you a short little book trailer that we created for our book release event that we had a few weeks ago. Enjoy. exciting little video does that give you the idea Ooh, I want to have a sneak peek inside the book yes you do don't you this is 297 full color pages of pure whiskey pleasure and enjoyment now obviously inside we have a little bit of history and production process but the production process again you don't have to be a scientist or a chemist to understand how whiskey is produced we explain it in our book in layman's terms so we explain it everyone will understand it. But inside we also have uh, some distillery profiles that we want to reach out for. Uh, we have some tasting notes, but also inside we have uh, how to organize a tasting. And there's also a, 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 a flavor wheel inside that will help you to describe the whiskey that you are tasting. And it might even help you to start writing whiskey notes. Why not? Um, but also inside we have a, a, a nice chapter, one of my favorite chapters basically, is the uh, single malt versus blend, in which we try to dispel the misconception that a blend is per definition inferior to a single malt. That is not the case or that not, does not always have to be the case. So let, let us get that misconception out of the world. We explain that in a, in a, in a big chapter. Also inside is four travelogues. Nick, Ilsen and myself traveled the world, not only Belgium, but we also went to Scotland a couple of times. And Nick and Ilsen even went as far as Japan, where they visited Yamazaki. They went to Australia, where they visited the Victoria Valley Distillery, now the New World Distillery, but also David Baker's Distillery. So they've been around the world and we've traveled, um, we've, we've written down, excuse me, we've written down the, uh, the travelogues, which we hope will, you know, will, will, will spark uh, you into going out there yourselves to become a whiskey pilgrim and visit some distilleries. Scotland truly is a beautiful country. It is God's own country. We also have six interviews, six no less. One of the interviews, one I'm very proud of, is with the lady, the first lady of whiskey, Rachel Barry. She obviously is the master blender of the Morrison Beaumont Company. So she's responsible for, for Beaumont, Glengarry, 
my beloved Ochem Toshem, but also since a couple of years, Lefroig, Art Moore, they even have teachers. So talking to Mrs. Rachel Berry was absolutely, absolutely flabbergasting. She is not only a true lady, but the way she talks about whiskey, the passion. Oh. Anyway, we also spoke to an independent butler, uh, Fred Lane from Douglas Lane Company, uh, and his brand ambassador, Jan Beckers, who is basically Flemish. It's not that very common that a Belgian works in the uh, Scottish whiskey industry, so we spoke to them as well. Obviously, we could not uh, leave out a Belgian distiller, so we spoke to uh, Etienne Bouillon from the Belgian Isle. And then we also spoke to a Belgian independent bottler, uh, Dominic Bruckhardt, who is responsible for Malts of Scotland and the Whiskey Man releases. And finally, we spoke to a chef, uh, Inge Langacker, which is a Flemish chef. She's famous for uh, whiskey chocolates and recipes with whiskey. Speaking of which, there is a big issue here, a, a big uh, chapter on uh, whiskey in the kitchen. Now you too can cook with uh, whiskey in your kitchen because you don't have to be a chef to be able to reproduce the recipes that we offer you here. This is a beautiful New Year's Eve whiskey recipe in there for a, for a, for a wonderful dinner, a four course dinner, give it a go. So as you can see, this book is quite, quite complete. Um, we've tried to put everything in there that, that might be of interest to not only novices, but also some, some connoisseurs will really like to have a look at this. So you want one, if you want it, you might even want to get, you know, you don't have to, but you might want to be interested in a signed copy. Ooh, ooh, the self-promotion here, how daunting. Anyway, if you want a copy of this book, simply, simply uh, send us an email at info at wifi.be and we'll take it from there. But remember, the book is in Flemish, it's in Dutch. The final thing that makes this book stand out from all the other whiskey books, in my opinion, let me be so bold as to say is, well, we do have a certain kind of humor, don't we? and we try to infuse our book with that humour. Having said that, I will leave you now with some imagery, some video from the uh, book release event that we held a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, uh, and that's it for this Whiskey Rambling. Uh, if you do get the book and you read it, please, please let us know what you think. We really look forward to your feedback. So, that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. Enjoy the footage of the Whiskey Book Release event, and uh, I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. Until then, May the book be with you. Bye-bye.